Hey guys, this is another School Fortnite recap. This is School Fortnite recap 5, part 1. This is week 9, term 1 of 2015. 2000. Yeah, 2015. Year 10. Monday, 23 March 2015. Science. So, it's discussing with us about the topics that will be on on the that might be on the exam on Friday this week. Period that is period two of the double. We wrote explain the development of the atom model over time. Identify and analyze two chemical reactions. Ident identify and explain the periodic table, the format and groups involved. In English homework was three questions on the pollen the questions on the blind side not pollen. Um in religion, homework was three human rights and examples of injustice in the world. In PD, we had practical. Charbel, Ellie, and a few other boys were setting up the net while I was inside with Jim. Sam made a speech of, or should I say, announcement on the news. Shout out to um, Sam, Sam D, and Daniel S. Anyways, yeah. Sam made a speech, or should I say, an announcement on the news and how he hooked how Daniel hooked up with his new girlfriend the other day, like yesterday, the day before, Monday. So I made, made it exclusive by saying when he kissed his new girlfriend, it was like at a 90 degree angle. It was like, I think it was like that. I don't know how that works. Anyways, Daniel, Daniel was like, no, it's more like 180. And I was like, no, it's 360. 360 no scope kiss. And Sam, Sam just continued, continued his own. A speech by saying when he kissed his girlfriend or when she got kissed she was like in a trance of she's like <laughs> and then Daniel's like she was like oh and I was like she ended up with a female because <laughs> I was like laughing anyways when I finally played with the boys I was like it was just like volleyball but we had to kick it was freaking weird it was really this soft ball and there was no net and the ball was because it was really soft and this ball man it was pink Ellie Samuel Samuel D that is and Daniel, Daniel S, on the other side, or, um, next to the fence, while well, the team I was on was Chabel, Gibran, Callum, Jimwell and me. We won eventually, but it wasn't really that glorious or fun because the sport didn't really function. Um, Jimwell was just sleeping, I mean not sleeping, sweeping, you know, like when you use a brush. No, not like a garden, like what you see me right now. He was sweeping the water to replace Manu. <laughs> I saw James Will recording him from a distance. But, well, because Jimmo was going hard, I was like, fuck, I gotta quit this! And, um, when that game finished, I just played um, 1v1 one versus 1v1 basketball with Jim Will. Pretty intense for both of us because, because like, it was like, we, I went hard out, he went hard out as well, but realistically, not that, not, not hard out for a real game. I mean, if you were pushed to the limits, nah, it doesn't compare. But for me, yeah, we both went hard out. It's quite, it's quite stupid, but still, it's just a game, bro, it's fun. Anyways, um, Daniel and the rest of the, well, yeah, the rest of the boys just kept, kept on playing that game, and Daniel and the rest of the boys called out my name as Jabron tried to hit their pink ball out of the cricket fence square it's on the top here with a basketball, but it didn't work. So Sharpdell ended up calling me for like a last resort as Jabron tr tried his hardest. I climbed up the fence, even though so it's like Neil, get down, don't go up. And while I was climbing up the fence, like a, it, the fence ripped a piece of my cloth there yeah, on my left thigh. It's like really, it's like, it's like this section here. It's really big, man, even for a, a cut. But thank God, it didn't. I was surprised it didn't cut. Like it didn't cut me. Probably because the whole spirit, whole spirit material is really good. Finally, so um, uh, yeah. Finally, I ended up. Throwing the ball, the pink ball, back to the back to the boys, and I climbed back down. And so they gave me a warning, like Neil, Neil, don't do that right again, all right? <laughs> next time, like he's like, next time you gotta tell me when you're gonna do that. And finally, Sir made this game, so we played up uh, 21. It was just me, Jim, Samuel D against Ellie, Chabelle, and John. Of course, they they won, bro. Like they had more athletic people, man. Like seriously, we only had like what? One out of three chance. Even though, even though we needed one more point to win 21, then we packed up. Like, seriously, they have basically the whole team has athletes, man. My team, or the team I was on, I ain't an athlete. Only Samuel was. There's a big difference there. Of course, but still, surprise, surprise. It's like we just won 
point behind them. You know, as in math, we did algebraic techniques in class, factorized simple or linear questions in Timba. Had practical. Dominic was the new student in Timba because Mr. Clark make it, made an ex made a mistake when writing his name. Writing his timetable, he was supposed to do Timba, not Commerce. He was unwelcome by many. As some like some, but some like people accepted. So they showed us how to do a housing joint next to a rebate joint. That's all we did that lesson. Continued on our, continued to practice joints. Continued on our practice joints because it's not really really woodwork. It's just like practice. It's not a real project. It's just practice joints. Anyways, we had to finish the rebate joints. Then make, then if you were, if you were ahead, you could make a housing joint next to it. Tuesday, 24th of March, 2015, Math, Algebraic Techniques, Factorized Quadratic Equations, and also work Worksheet Questions for Homework, Geo, which was discussing through the inference questions with us, and we ended up to question 3, Class Response Preparation, or Cause and Effect. In English, homework was to complete the blindside worksheet. Religion, homework was to finish Chapter 13.6, Activity 1, aka the Mind Map, and Chapter 13.7, Where to Go in Groups of three to three to four people for our religion assignment that's due week two next term or term two my group was callum john jimwell and me music we had a sub and the whole time everyone was on their mac we had to start on our jazz assignment that is to research musical arts of a selected jazz artist um, manu came in last to the class because he was on um, mav my bad mav it says it's it said max sorry bro um, yeah, Mav came in the class last because he was on crutches and he went through the elevator while being guided with Patrick A. I'll assume most of us in music did at least some of the assignment because as I saw, many of my classmates were on other websites like Tumblr, YouTube, etc. I'm not naming names, I'm just saying man. Well, I was just chatting with Jim on Google Plus even though he was right next to me but like the only reason why we did that is you couldn't talk. You cannot talk if the whole class is quiet. Then again, yeah, pretty much. And Thomas was the only person that was away besides Ratu because Ratu has work to do. I think work, like as in real work, not work experience. In science, Sir gave us time to work on our science assi assignments. That's due week ten. I was working on quantum mechanical model of the atom and Democritus atom atom model, Thomas model while Caleb was doing the size of celestial objects, including the distances between them. Chabelle and Gibran were doing the actual A3 paper with all the, all of the atom models. Caleb was chatting with me on the chat bar on Google Docs saying he wants to fight me and shit. I was like, what the f- Anyways, moving on, Wednesday, 25th of March 2015. Matt's way to study or to re or revise for the whole lesson, pretty much just answer the questions given on the Edmodo. In religion, we had a sub. Miss was the Miss was at the a real teacher was at the year twelve. Spirituality day, our sub was actually a science teacher. For the for the first half we of the the lesson, we just brainstormed on board with everyone, but working for justice in Australia, pretty much just me and Jim and the whole class did not do a single thing on the board. I was like, nah, yes. And so I didn't even notice. It doesn't matter. For the second half of the lesson, we had to create a visual representation of working for justice in Australia individually on the A4 paper I had it out on, G on Geo while we were lining up John got sucked into the got stuck got stuck into the root um, but yeah he stuck into the the um the, the window because he snuck into the, the room right seconds later Miss came and he struggled to hop off the window as he was just stuck and no one was helping him so I had to help him we came in the class and Miss was like to John because I was like in front of him he was the last person to get in he was like miss was like to him is there a disruption in your line john john's like no miss i was in front of him and, and john was like the last person to enter the room pretty much yeah for the for the whole lesson we had to finish the worksheet for bushfires last question was so easy for me we had to create a fridge magnet designed on our workbooks informing people about bushfires all i did was to copy all i did was copy the spider diagram on the, the booklet for the worksheet and I just rephrased it. Well, not rephrased it. I just re-imaged it. I finished earlier, and most of the uh, most of the lesson, I just looked around in the room. It was like so silent. I was like, I looked at my fellow peers. 
that were tightly focused on their work as you can see their eyeballs glancing majority of the, the lesson on their laptops man like that's how much because it was the textbook was on the student chair in english so it wasn't here he was at the year 12 spirituality day we had year 7 english teacher our years my year 7 english teacher for us up only half of our class was there in English. Classmates like Adam, E.B., Manu, James were at CBSA, I think. They were at training, can't remember. Anyways, most of us did our work. Still the usual behavior. I always sit at the center, di directly facing towards the smart board. On the right side, on the, the right side of the class was less talkative or hardly heard, while the left side was really loud. Probably because of Natasha screaming loud as she's sharing earphones with Brian, watching the movie on their Mac. Because they didn't finish they didn't finish watching the movie, some people didn't finish it. And Ronnie sat next to Brittany, which is totally different because he usually sits in his spot, which is next to E.B. And E.B. is sitting next to Jesse. And Timba had theory, had a sub again, yet again. Our teacher was at the years of spirituality, the usual people talking, while others were like focused and did the work at the mental clock. PD theory, uh, people were lining up at the, at the ramp at G G2 per usual. Lisa had a quarrel with Daniel, so Daniel ran down and asked for my support. And um, what do you call it? I had to, I, I, all I did was like block her, blocked Lisa, and Lisa answered, "I'm just getting my bag." So I gave it to her, and Daniel was like, "No, no, slam dunk it." And I was like, "Like, why would you do that?" Well, Lisa giving that comment, "What the f face?" We eventually entered the room, had a sub. I guess our PD teacher was at the year twelve. Spirituality day as well. Further on, we just continued on our drunk and confused sheet for PD assignment and as a chair. You know, and, uh, and the conclude is to be completed for the exam in period five. Of course, Miss allowed us to listen to music with earphones, but not too loud because she's a young she's a young teacher compared to the other the other senior teachers. And um, recall, I didn't mind the sitting arrangement. It's kind of kind of a shock how Mariah came in and stayed in our class, sitting on the far left side at the front row with Miss sitting next to Jessica and Catherine for the whole lesson. Behind them was I Irene and Lisa who was closely connected to John, Daniel and Sam and Ellie's table. So they added so they joined tables. So it's it's perfect. Um, at one point Daniel ran away from Lisa and on Irene nearly getting bashed on the right um, on the right the, on the right of their table, Daniel's table, was Irene and Lisa's table. And then on on the right of... I mean, on the right of Irene and Lisa's table was Tia and Marie H. No one was sitting at the tables in front of them. I was at the middle column. I was sitting next to Jim on the front row. Behind us was Shabel E and Gibran. On the most rearest end of the central column, or the center column, this is me, Shabel. The most rear is so like the father. So it's next to the AC or the aircon. Anyways, um, that was um Sarah G and Selena, N. basically athletes and artists. Finally, or you could always say visual artist, athlete, music artist, and then finally on my right was okay. This is in order from front to back. Mary, Linda, Eileen, and then there's Karen on the father's back, Eliane, Bryce, and Callum. Really good lesson, but I'm guessing some people didn't do the work, taking it as the advantage of procrastination. Yet again, um, then the bell rang, I left, I went to the train station, I was going home. 